developing that creativity frequency in their minds, what do people usually should do? What should people do on a daily basis from a creative standpoint? Well, that, that's a really good question because, you know, as I'm reading these, there's a, a whole area of, of neuroscience called neuro arts. And they said just uh, between 15 and 20 minutes a day being creative is enough to, to awaken and ignite and get your right brain operating and functioning best for you. Wow. And, you know, you know, I mentioned taking a walk and noticing the, the environment, noticing, noticing those that are around you, not being only in your head, right? Um, planning an event, obviously, when you're doing that and you're doing all these left brain activities, you know, then thinking about the stories. And, and as an author, did you include stories in your book? Even if you're talking about business and you're talking about, you know, financial success and wealth building, are there still stories that you tell? It's like we're human. We want to hear people's stories. We want to we want to connect on more than left brain ways. And so maybe when you're organized, you're thinking not I can do, you know, Sally, Joe, Jim and John. But wow, what stories do they are they going to how are they going to ignite the imaginations of the people that are listening to them, that are watching, that are here, that maybe their story is going to touch them in a deep way and they'll be more open for for Jim, who's got some practical steps, you know. So, you know, there's there's different ways to look at it than just, all right, you know, so and so is going to be here then and they're going to we're going to be here or here <laughs> at this room. And yeah, I mean, there's a lot of details. We all need both sides. It's not an either or thing. And I think that's that's, you know, why I'm passionate about the creative side, because I feel like that's what our culture has spent too much time ignoring and even hurting and damaging because it's sensitive. And so we have to shut those voices down that try to shut us down and say, you can't do that, you know, and it's like, all right, take time in this planning to say, how can how can they get some creative blessings out of this too? You know, maybe because it is some beautiful colors on the screen on the platform, you know, or some backdrop that that will be you know excite their imagination. Um, you know, I just had to do some headshots because I also am a speaker, so um, I'd love to do any stages. But the um, you know, so I did I did some some headshots with my artwork behind it. You know, superimposed paintings or just a close up of a painting or some of my pottery or some of you know just to you know this is part of who I am. You know, it's not just a a grandma here, but um, <laughs> I'm I'm interested in in everybody's creativity, I guess. <laughs> very, very cool. Use unicorn as a metaphor for success. Treat treat it gently or it'll become extinct. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, that's, that's how success is like a unicorn.